Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you the difference between a site navigation and a hub navigation. It's actually a super important topic because as a site owner, you need to understand the difference between the two and uh, you need to know when to use, uh, you know, which option. So um, what, let's start with site navigation. All right, so uh, what is a site navigation? A site navigation is a navigation that exists on a given site and that is usually used to link to the resources on that site. Uh, so what you have, what you see right now on the screen is an example of, a, uh, I guess, uh, some legal team site. And when I created this site, by default, it got this left-hand side navigation. This is a, you know, site navigation, essentially. This is it. This is site navigation. The idea behind this navigation, it's only present on this site, on this particular site. If I were to create another team site, it would have its own site navigation. But the idea behind this site navigation is that, you know, I would typically, you know, create links to the resources that apply to this, you know, particular site. Maybe I have a library of contracts or some other legal documents and I want to easily uh, link to them and create a link. And so uh, my team members can easily, uh, you know, follow the certain link and essentially see the, you know, access a particular uh, type of content. It could be, of course, because it's just a URL, right? You know, you could uh, link to anything you want. It could be a page on, you know, on your uh, site. It could be a file folder. It would it could even be an external site, right? Maybe you want to link to some other external, you know, sites or resources. It could be anything uh, with a URL. So that's uh, essentially a site um, uh, navigation uh, on this particular team site. Now, um, if you create a communication site. Uh, you also get a uh, site navigation, but it doesn't appear here. It actually appears on top. So when you create a team site, it always appears on the left-hand side. And um, to be honest, to be honest, I suggest that's where you leave it because you can actually uh, tweak it. And, you know, let me show you while we're here. So if I go to change the look, and uh, obviously you need to be a site owner to do that, I can first of all hide this navigation you know, just like that, or I can, you know, uh, put it on uh, top. You see, it moves it on top. I recommend that you don't do that, and I will explain to you why it will become uh, pretty obvious in uh, in a few minutes. But um, the number one reason why you should not hide this navigation uh, completely is because of the recycle bin. You see, if I hide it completely, there will be no easy way for my uh, team to easily, you know, restore the deleted document. So just suggest that you leave it as is. Now, if you have a communication site, not a team site, right? Not a team site connected to Microsoft 365 Group and Teams, uh, then your navigation appears over here on top. And that's where it will live. You can actually hide it, but you cannot move it anywhere. The navigation, so this happens to be some marketing uh, employee face inside. That's where marketing stores all the brand assets and stuff, right? Logos and, and all that stuff. So this is meant, this site is meant to be available to all the employees. Navigation on communication sites appears on top. And while we're here, while, uh, you know, we're here, um, essentially, uh, yeah, uh, you can just, you know, hide it completely if you want, but that's about it. You cannot move it to the left or anything like that. So, um, this once again is a site navigation and again the idea here is that a link to the you know resources located on this particular site so now let me introduce you to the hub navigation what is hub navigation uh, you pro you probably maybe already saw it in your uh, environments uh, if you you don't have this feature then i strongly suggest that you consider it I actually recorded a number of videos and have a number of blog posts on this topic, but hub navigation is an additional navigation that you get and it appears right on top. And the idea here is that you see all the sites. So this site is a standalone site. This site is a standalone site and so on. Um, 
obviously there is no easy way for me you know to go to go from one side to another that's what hub navigation is for it's a special feature and i'm not going to explain to you how to set it up like i said i have uh lots of instructions on my youtube channel and my blog but what will happen after you do that you get this extra navigation appearing on the side yeah, on top of each site. And essentially the idea here that is that it links all the sites within that hub. So I created this internet hub and look, I can go, you see I am on a human resources site. This is also a communication site. And um, I can easily go to another site. This is uh, an accounting site. I'm on a different site now but my navigation remains the same. You see with uh, site navigation, if I go from one site to another, because site navigation is local, it kind of right is unique to that particular site. With this hub navigation stays consistent. Now, that's the idea behind hub navigation. So the idea behind hub navigation is that you will link all the different sites. Obviously, um, you can um, create links just like with uh, the site navigation, you can create links to uh, anything you want, all right? You can, uh, it, they could be external links. You could even link to a particular folder or a document. This is not recommended. This is too granular for hub navigation. So with hub navigation, you typically want to link all the different sites, you know, so URLs. And from that point on, I can navigate further. So, and now this brings me to another point I want to make. So look, I used hub navigation to um, uh, essentially navigate to one of my team sites. And uh, look, so I'm on this HR team site now, but because my navigation is on the left-hand side, um, I can easily, I guess, distinguish between the two, right? Again, site navigation, hub navigation. And because I'm on this HR team site, I can now link to whatever resources I have on this HR team site. So far, so good, right? The problem arises when you could connect a communication site to the hub. So actually, let me do that right now, and you will see what I mean. So I'm going to take this site, and I'm going to uh, connect it to uh, that internet hub and let's see what happens so i'm choosing this internet hub i want to be part of and i'm going to click save and you will see the difference uh, right away so i brought this site under the uh, umbrella of this hub and I can obviously create a link, right? Uh, the link doesn't make it automatically in here. I, I can, you know, link to my, uh, you know, marketing site, uh, you know, from here. But look what happens. I now have two, you know, types of navigation, one under another. Hub navigation, site navigation. Um, in my opinion, and it could be a personal opinion, but I don't like this. Why? Because it's too confusing. It's too confusing. It's one thing when, uh, you know, once again, I made it to the site and, you know, this area is nice and clean and I can now easily read this. It becomes way too confusing when I have this navigation with drop downs and I have this navigation with drop downs. So what I usually recommend, uh, and again, it could be just uh, more of a personal opinion, but if this is the case, what I recommend is that you get rid of this navigation. Uh, site navigation. Obviously, you need hub navigation, right? Because you want people to navigate to your site. But site navigation, I suggest you hide it. And to do so, just to remind you, you click on uh, change the look navigation and you can literally just do this. You see, you can do this. So, uh, and, you know, I understand that you will need to link, you know, to some of those resources. That's what, you know, the Quick Links web part, you know, Hero web part are for. You can use that. And besides, it's more visually appealing than uh, using these links right here. So, um, so yeah, just want to make sure you understand the difference, first of all, between a site navigation uh, and a hub navigation. And most importantly, if you use both, right, you might need to do a bit of uh, cleanup. As a matter of fact, look at this. Here is my HR site. And, you know, 
you see I uh, cleaned up the navigation. It's nice and clean. Very, very consistent look and feel. Same with my accounting and, and another communication site I have. Again, all the important links are here. It looks much nicer, you know, nice and clean. Uh, the users are not confused by seeing double and seeing, you know, two different types of navigation here and without understanding, you know, which one to follow, which one to click. So that's essentially the difference between two types of navigation. These are the only two types of, na of navigation we now have in SharePoint as site na navigation and hub navigation. Once again, they serve two different purposes um, as explained in this video. All right, so hopefully you learned something new in the description uh, of this video. I will include a link to an article that I published on this topic, and it also contains some additional you know, best practices and screenshots, so feel free uh, to read it. But uh, for now, thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again on my YouTube channel. Goodbye.